This presentation on building a data center, how to understand tier classifications, is brought to you by DP Air. When building a data center, companies must decide what tier level is most appropriate for the requirements. Based on the availability of data from the site infrastructure, four data center tier classifications exist. One, two, three, and four. The level guidelines range from the basic tier one to the rigid, which is tier four. The Uptime Institute, a data center think tank and professional services organization, created the four tier classifications. When building a data center, businesses must balance the need for availability with the cost of greater redundancy. In other words, the higher the tier level, the greater the data availability will be, but more cost. The four tier standard helps industry professionals objectively identify likely performance levels at various data centers. To be classified, data centers must pass performance confirmation tests. The results verify the site-level infrastructure required to sustain data center operations. The tier classification involves the operation of the data center as a whole, not of the individual systems. If operators building a data center have very basic requirements consistent with a server room, they may just need to meet the guidelines for a Tier 1 classification. According to the Uptime Institute, a Tier 1 data center has non-redundant capacity components and a single non-redundant distribution path serving the computer equipment. Some things to know about building a data center classified as Tier 1 are, any planned work on the data center will require most or all of the site infrastructure systems to be shut down. This downtime adversely affects computer equipment systems and the end users. Both planned and unplanned disruptions of any system will affect availability of the computer equipment. And when preventative maintenance and repairs must be performed, the data center infrastructure must be completely shut down. The Uptime Institute requires Tier 2 data centers to have redundant capacity components and a single non-redundant distribution path serving the computer equipment. Some things to know about building a data center classified as Tier 2 are the redundant capacity components can be removed from the service on a planned basis without causing any of the computer equipment to be shut down. However, removing the distribution paths from services for maintenance or other activity will require the computer equipment to be shut down. Disruptions, either planned or unplanned, may impact data center availability. Any unplanned outage or failure of a capacity system or distribution element will affect the data center's computer equipment. And whenever preventative maintenance and repairs must be performed, the data center infrastructure must be completely shut out. Tier 3 centers have redundant capacity components and multiple independent distribution paths serving the computer equipment. All IT equipment must be dual powered. Some things to know about building a data center classified as Tier 3 are all capacity components and elements in the distribution paths can be removed from service on a planned basis without impacting any of the other computer equipment. Sufficient, permanently installed capacity exists to meet site requirements when redundant components are removed from the service for any reason. Unplanned activities such as outages or failures can disrupt the site and computer equipment. Using the redundant capacity components and distribution paths, planned maintenance and repair can be accomplished with an infrastructure is shut down. And the engine generator systems represent the data center's primary power source. Power delivery from the local utility serves as an alternative source. If operators building a data center must guarantee the highest levels of availability, then they will most likely select a Tier 4 level. As the most rigid category, a Tier 4 data center is designed to host mission-critical computer systems. The facility includes fully redundant subsystems and a compartmentalized security zones controlled by strict security access controls methods. Some things to know about building a data center classified as Tier 4 are considered a fault-tolerant data center. A Tier 4 facility has multiple independent, physically isolated systems that provide redundant capacity components and multiple independent, diverse, active distribution paths, simultaneously serving the computer equipment. Power and cooling is maintained after any infrastructure failure. A failure within a Tier 4 data center of any capacity system, capacity component, or distribution element will not affect the computer equipment. The system will self-heal to avoid further impacting the site. When redundant components or distribution paths are removed from service for any reason, sufficient capacity exists to continue meeting site requirements. In other words, no single event, planned or unplanned, will disrupt the site. And finally, the engine generator systems 
represent the data center's primary power source. Power delivered from the local utility serves as an alternative source. When building a data center, operators must determine the infrastructure availability needed for their operations. Redundancy systems such as power generation, refrigeration, uninterruptible power supplies, and more must be integrated within the data center to satisfy the specific tier level requirements. About the author. Ernie is the Chief Executive Officer of DP Air Corporation, a leading provider of data center design, build, and maintenance services based in Phoenix. For more information about building a data center, visit www.dpair.com today.